This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Minecraft Voyage Aquatic, which is their new levels or their new Minecraft stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm on part 7. You found the underwater ruins. Yes, we did. Last level. Search, search the sandstone for a chest containing prismarian treasure. Okay. Prism, oh, prismarine treasure. There we are. Alright, so I see the chest. Oh my goodness, it is definitely a maze. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. Quick reminders, here's the blocks of code we can use, here's our workspace, here's the game board. I'm going to make the game board a bit bigger and hit run to see what they have so far. Ooh, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. Ooh, wall, ow, ow. Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> Alright, so we got this repeat loop, and remember what a repeat loop does is it's going to, well, repeat until goal. It's going to keep running all of this code until we reach our goal. So we're going to move forward, and then if path to the right, oh, we have an if statement. Okay, and that's why we ran into the wall, because our code says repeat until goal, move forward. Um, if path, well, that doesn't matter. There's no actual execution here, so boom, repeat, move forward, repeat, move forward, and until I'm at the goal, so I just hit the wall. So if path to the right, this is an if statement. So it is asking if the computer then will check, is our path turning right? Because if the course, if this maze is turning right, we can now run some code. The code I would like to run, well, if the path is to the right, I want our character to turn right. That would make sense. Let's check to see if I'm getting this, if it's making sense, if it's working for me. Turn right. Perfect. All right. Oh, and we, we did it. That's all we needed. Awesome.